Hello. Today I'm with you to talk about flame. And I've got two young people here who are going to tell me all their memories and hopes about Flame 2023. I remember previous Flame events and they've been fantastic. They've been full of energy, interest, but also full of prayer with a deep quietness at times, which to me has always been like the real inner heart of Flame. So here we go. I've got Nemica and Grace. And I'm going to start with Grace. And Grace, I'm going to ask you, what do you remember most about Flame that you've been to in the past? I think something that really stood out for me from going to Flame was just the whole experience of it. Um, I think something that especially stood out to me was just the worship. Um, being in a room with all of these different young Catholics from all over the country, just united through Jesus, just absolutely worshipping the Lord. It was just such a blessing for me. Um, and I think that was a real highlight for me, definitely. Real big room, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's a whole hall, yeah, a whole mm. assembly place. Great. Nemeka, how about you? What do you remember from Flame that you've been to in the past? So I, I had the benefit of, and the privilege of, being asked to present a little bit of spoken words just before adoration at the last flame. Uh, that was pretty big for me because I'd always really do it in a small you know, prayer setting with a small number of people around me. But being able to use my gift to touch a large number of people, like 8,000 young people from all over the country and possibly around the world as well, um, was a really good experience. Um, okay. so. Let's just carry on for a minute and you tell me what you're looking forward to most. But when we get to March 2023 and again, we all gather in another flame event. What are you looking forward to most? Just being around loads of Catholics my age, right? Being around people who are enthusiastic about their faith, who are from all different walks of life, different places, having this, this and that happening in their lives and still being able to come together uh, to glorify the Lord through song, through listening to like talks, through just having fun, really. Okay. So you look around and you see how different people are, and yet we all have something that binds us together. Indeed, yes. All different members of the body of Christ, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Now, Grace, looking forward, what, you know, really makes you excited when you think about Oh, we'll be back at flame again. Oh, there are so many things I'm looking forward to. Um, I think a real highlight is the input that's going to be taking place by the different people who are speaking. I remember the last flame was just absolutely so empowering, so amazing to just be in that room um, and to see all of those speakers at the front, just so passionate about the Lord. Um, and their passion was so contagious, you know, just seeing how they were talking about the Lord. Um, it really inspired me on in my own personal journey to get to know Jesus deeper. Okay. It's oh, really wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. So it's a, a powerful moment that's Absolutely, coming. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, they tell me that the theme for this coming flame is the two words, rise up. Now, what do they say to you? And, and in what sense would you like to see the young people there rise up? Go on, Grace, you go first. I just think that topic is such an amazing topic about rising up. Um, and it just inspires me as a young person, you know, of a new generation um, to take on what Jesus did and to be a true Christian and to show the world, you know, Jesus. Um, and to be in a room as well, filled with so many different young people from so many backgrounds. It's like we're all united in Jesus and that we can all rise up together to bring about the kingdom. Okay, so... When you say rise up, you rise up so you can be seen. Because sometimes our faith isn't much seen. You know, and, and we, maybe we have a difficulty in getting it across. So you would see this a moment for getting out there and being seen, rising up to be seen. Absolutely, yeah. Fair? Being courageous and stepping out in faith to, you know, bear witness and evangelise, you know, and to bring the glory of God to other people who may not have heard of him before. Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Like just sort of like a call, a call to action, 
and basically saying to the youth, like, you may be young, but that shouldn't put you off. We're all part of this great church and we all have our different roles to do, different things that we can contribute that can help bring the rest of the world to Christ eventually. Um, and yeah, for me, Rise Up is like, guys, we got this. There's a destination, there's a goal, the goal is heaven. And we have a part to play in helping all those around us, those of us who are part of the faith, those of us who aren't part of the faith, okay. to get to that goal. So also in there, I think you're saying that we will rise up each in our own way. Yes. According to what strengths and talents and abilities we have. Exactly. So we don't all have to be exactly the same. Not at all, not at all. But so in a way, you're asking young people to be clear about what they've got and in what way you and you and you might rise up. Is that, is that right? Exactly, right? God didn't make us all the same. He didn't make us all to have the same talents, right? He made us all different. He made us with different strengths with reason, right? And that reason all boils down to his love and his love all boils down to us returning that love through our actions and through getting other people to return their love to him as well. Now, there's no question at all, you two are dead keen on this. You're full of enthusiasm. You can't wait to get to next March. But there'll be others out there who are thinking, oh, shall I bother? There might be teachers who'll be thinking, oh, it's too much trouble to get a coach. There might be young people thinking, well, you know, I've got other things I want to do. Maybe there's a football match coming up or whatever. So what would you, you know, what would you say to them if they're dithering a bit or unsure a bit? Well, how would you persuade the reluctant to come to flame? I would just say go for it, honestly. The last flame was my first ever flame. I'd okay. never been to flame before. And it left such a lasting impact with the entire day. It just left a mark on my heart, you know, just to see so many different people there and to hear all the input and everything that took place, worshipping together. It was like an experience I'd never had before um, to see that many people in the same room. And I just left completely like with a smile on my face, just like, yes, it was such an amazing experience. And I would wish for anyone else to receive it because so many blessings came from the event, definitely. Yeah, but if you don't mind me pressing a bit, it's lasted for you, hasn't it? It has. It wasn't just a high for one day. No, absolutely not. Because I think the input that you receive um, and the wisdom that you receive from all of these different speakers and worshipping, it really lifts your soul. Um, and you can bring it home with you. It doesn't just stop when you leave the arena. It comes back with you as well and ministers to you. Like throughout a month, I was just on an absolute high because I was thinking about the things and Jesus, you know, Jesus is so cool. The way that he was speaking to my heart throughout the whole of flame and he was revealing things in my life that I, he knew I needed to hear through the speakers and their wisdom. And it was just such a wonderful experience for my faith. What, what did your friends make of all of this who maybe weren't there? Um, I think, I think they would have noticed it maybe. I, I didn't really speak about it much with my friends after flame. But um, I definitely knew that I felt very, very filled with the Holy Spirit and very okay. at peace and with joy. Okay. Um, so maybe this time we rise up, you might. Absolutely. You might start talking to them and yeah, explain yourself a bit. I'd love that, yeah. Okay, good for you, well done, thank you. Now, young man, how about you and Emeka? What, um, how would you persuade somebody or a group who were thinking, oh, it's not worth my while. How would you get past that hesitancy and get them fired up a bit? Well, first of all, we have hip hop artists. I'm sure the youth of today would enjoy a little bit of fun with some hip hop artists. And you've got Governor B coming in, isn't it? Um, he was really good at the previous flame and he'll be, I'm sure he'll be really good this flame. So yeah, using music interests, I'm sure, is one avenue. Or just like using it as an opportunity to like meet other people, um, to reach out, to find other people who are like you in some ways and who are dissimilar to you in some ways and being able to bond over that. Um, and th for those who are thinking, uh, I'm not sure if I really want to go, as, as Grace has said, just go for it. If, if need be, ask your priest, ask them to see if maybe there are other 
parishes around who want to like unite and go a, a sort of maybe like a deanery trip, for example, with other youth and other um, priests around the area. Just as a, yeah, think of it as an opportunity to meet people. Okay. Yeah. So that's two things you've been talking about. The quality of, of what you'll see and the attractiveness of what will be done, but also this opportunity to meet people who you never know, you might strike up a long friendship with. Exactly. If you join in this. Okay, good. All right. Now, in a minute, we've got to bring this to an end. So I'd just like, just like to give you the chance just to think for a minute if there's one other thing you'd like to say, if there's one last word you'd like to get across as to all those who'd be watching this and just say, yeah, here's my last word on this. Grace? I just think the word that's on my heart is just step out. Um, even if you're not sure about coming, you know, even if you're not sure how to get there, the Lord always provides a way. Uh, just step out in faith and just come to flame because it's such an incredible event. Um, and I 100% know that the Lord will speak to you while you're there. Emeka? So, an event like this is an event that offers opportunity and just being free to step into the opportunity and to allow it to take you somewhere is good. And that's something that I think you should take to flame because you don't know how the Lord's going to speak to you. You don't know what inspiration is going to put on your heart. But be rest well assured that whatever does happen will happen for the greatest good and for his glory. That's lovely. Thank you very much. So you're both saying, come on, step up, take the risk. You're saying, take the risk, because what will come out of this will be really good for you and good for all of us. Well, there we have it. What two persuasive young people. I'm even more looking forward now to Flame, 4th of March, 2023. And please do come along. You've heard it from these two. Something really worth looking forward to. Step out. Take the risk, join in, and you'll receive a hundredfold the blessings of the Lord. Thank you very much.